we got lots to talk about on wide receiver. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah. That's um, pretty good I don't know if we have the bus. same ranking. I'm assuming our number one is probably the same. And that would be the one out of Ohio state Marvin Harrison jr. Yeah. I, I'm not, in... I'm not totally bought in on my rankings yet. I just want to say okay. I'm just kind of going in a general order, uh, yep. like sort of a consensus order that I found. Um, okay. I'll, I'm actually just going to go in whatever order you say them. So, okay. Um, well, number one I have is Marvin Harrison jr. From Ohio state, uh, six foot three, 209 pounds. He ran a four, three, nine 40. He is a junior. Um, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go? You have background? You have uh, yeah, I got some background. Okay. Um, so do you know where he's from? No. You said you always Philly? know the answer. Yeah, it's, he's from Philly. Um, he is also the son of uh, Hall of Famer Marvin Harrison. I don't honestly yes. know if you said that. Um, no, I didn't yet. I figured okay, you were cool. going to talk about that in background. Um, yeah, but uh, he is from uh, St. Joe's Prep, uh, a prep school here in Philadelphia. He won, uh, what was it? He was a teammate of his Ohio State teammate, uh, Kyle McCord, who was the quarterback last year, and they won two. Uh, they won three state championships together in uh, in Pennsylvania at St. Joe's Prep. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but I have been vaguely aware of Marvin Harrison uh, since then because a local guy. Mm -hmm. um, he saw limited involvement his freshman season behind future NFL first rounders Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, and Jackson Smith in Jigba. Uh, but he broke out in 2022. When he totaled 77 receptions, 1,263 yards, and 14 touchdowns, and he was named a unanimous All-American, uh, Ohio State's first at receiver. And then he totaled 67 receptions, 1,211 receiving yards, and 14 catch it, 14 touchdowns, uh, all-team highs over 12 games in 2023. He ranked fifth nationally in yards per route run, and he won the 2023 Bolitnikoff Award and finished fourth in Heisman Trophy voting. Yep. All right. I got a lot of positives. Do you want me to just run through them? Nope, just, yeah, give me yeah. a report. Um, he's it, a really good route runner is an absolute understatement. He consistently wins at the top of his routes. He's really good at tricking corners into turning their bodies away. Um, so with his shortcuts and his fake outs, he will have the corners completely turn their bodies away and it creates this incredible separation, um, which makes him your big play guy. Um, his athletic ability is absolutely off the charts, agility, flexibility. When I watch him, it's almost like he's like dancing and doing gymnastics out there. It's one of those people who just flow so effortlessly on the field, um, that it looks like it's in his DNA, which it might be, you never know. I mean, that you're just kind of um, describing so, Mark Harrison as a player. Exactly. So. Um, so he uses his size really well and is incredibly speedy. Um, and he's fast off the line, which helps really what helps a lot with his like go and his corner routes which again feeds into him being your big play guy um my only downside with him really is that his cuts need to be a little bit better and that he doesn't get a lot of yak but that's also because he's a big play guy and he gets he consistently gets a decent amount of separation yeah i mean this guy people have known that he's going to be one of the top two receivers in this mm -hmm. class for I don't know, since he was in high school, probably. Mm -hmm. and that's not necessarily true. He's technically only a four-star prospect. But since we saw him on the field at Ohio State, um, it's been very clear that he, you know, he is one of the most hyped college prospects in recent memory. Mm -hmm. um, with that, it becomes very easy to get bored of talking yeah. about how good he is. Um, yeah, I mean, he's just an incredible technical route runner. Uh, he's a great catcher. He does everything the right way. And he combined, mm -hmm. like, he is... is um, his uh, technique is re he is very refined technique is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And like good and, body control. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great body control. Mm -hmm. um, he does a lot of things really well. Uh, I would say that the two, not, not even red flags, but like the, the mm -hmm. two reasons that NFL teams might look at it and be like, eh, is he's not really a big threat to break tackles in the open yep. field. And he had an 8.2% drop rate. Uh, in 2023, uh, which was double the number of drops he recorded in 2022, um, which is not great and too many. All right. Do you feel, I know you didn't nail down your thing, your, your order. Do you think he's your number one? Yeah. I'm not going to overthink it. He's probably my number yeah. one. Um, okay. I, I just think he's, he's got really everything you want.